Hi guys, my name is Ana Rajacek, I'm Brazilian and I live here in Wrocław in Poland for two years now. So, in this video I will address the great comments that I got in my first video in this channel where I explain how it is to be Brazilian and live in Poland and how uh, does it feel to be from mixed races and have a very mixed uh, cultural background. So I got many nice comments and I was very happy to uh, see all the opinions and all the support that I got from everybody, especially as some people uh, took what I said as if Polish people are being uh, xenophobic or racist towards me when they ask me about my uh, mixed race and cultural heritage. That's not uh, at all what I was trying to say. I feel really welcome here. I love to live in Poland and this is my grandparents' land and I'm happy to be back here. And what I felt it was interesting, it was that some people will tell me that uh, Polish people are not trying to be aggressive, uh, they are just asking because they are curious, but uh, you don't need to uh, worry about your cultural heritage, you just need to be Brazilian, you are Brazilian, this is great, good, good for you, just don't worry if you are, if you are half Polish, 20% <laughs> Italian and 30% miscellaneous, that's not important, you are Brazilian, just embrace that. And I think this is great, but uh, you need to understand why it's so important to me to be here and be in contact with Polish people and why does it hurt me a little when you say like oh you are not Polish don't try to be it darling <laughs> I know that uh, uh, you're just trying to be nice to me but um, my grandfather my grandparents uh, that came from Poland to Brazil are war refugees and this is a very uh, unique situation because they didn't really want to leave Poland. They were forced by everything they went through. They were really traumatized when uh, war was over. So my grandparents uh, were not Jewish. That's why they survived Second War. But my grandma was picked up from her house and she was enslaved by the Nazis. She was taken for forced labor, that's just another nice word for a slave. So she was a slave and also my grandpa. He was forced to work in a concentration camp in the kitchen. So he was just peeling potatoes for the officials and he was watching the Jews and Polish and other people just being extermined. So it was a great experience as you can imagine and he was deeply wounded and deeply scarred when he ended the war and for more than two years the only food that he ingested was potato peels because he was not allowed to eat the potato, only the peel and only that. So he was fat when the war was over by just eating pills all the time. And so he met my grandma that worked in the fields, she, oh well. And they just met in a refugee camp and they were both, uh, they had horrible experience, maybe if you want I can tell you about that another day, but it's, I, I don't really like to, I don't really, uh, it's not a pleasant subject. And they just, uh, were traumatized and lost and they couldn't find out their relatives, their families and Red Cross told them that everybody died. So they were like in their 20s, 20 something and they just find out that their parents and siblings were all dead. And it was a mistake, they were not all dead but 
at the time that was the information that Red Cross gave to them. And they decide like, you know what, I don't want to go back, I don't want to see my house destroyed with bombs, I want just to have the memories that I have from my family. And uh, there was a ship, a ship going to the New World, and you could just go and start a new life there. And many young people in the refugee camp were like, let's go, let's put all this behind. Uh, we need an, a fresh start after that. And they just went to Brazil uh, and they were very sad about leaving the country, but it feels like the only option of the time. So I grew up with a family of uh, Polish people that were very uh, in love with the country. They loved Poland, they loved the tradition, they loved the language, they wanted uh, to be here, but they were in Brazil. And so they they were teach, teaching my mother and my uncle about uh, Polish history and all the Polish values that I think is a, are like human values, like to be strong, to work hard, to love your country. I think this should be values for everybody, but uh, Polish people take pride of having these values. So, And um, after my my mother and her brother, me and my sister, we were raised in the same culture, like Polish must be in your heart because you are, you, you are a Polish, uh, you are Polish, you are a Polish Brazilian. I had all the Brazilian culture, I would have fun in the carnival, I would go to the beaches, I would uh, listen to Brazilian music, but in, when I was in my, with my grandparents and with my mother, it was all about Poland. And there was a reason that I never learned to speak Polish, but it's a different video. But uh, my mother speak Polish fluently. She was, she, she was teaching Polish in Brazil, not for me, but for, to other people. And uh, so it was really, it was really a huge part of me growing up. Every time I was uh, sad because I want new shoes and I wanted my mother to buy me something, I want to just go out with my friends and she didn't want me to go or something like that, she, was, she will always say it like, you are so ungrateful, you should remember that when your grandma was a child she didn't have any of that. When she was in her 20s she was uh, terrified by the war, being under bombing, working for very cruel people, being mistreated and just hoping to be alive. And now you're making all this fuss because of new shoes. You should be ashamed. And I was like, oh my God, I need to, to be a better person. So until today, I have a big uh, problem of saying, uh, of ad admitting to myself that I cannot handle a situation, that I have I've been abused in work environment or in relationships because I just learned to take it all and be strong and uh, just don't complain because my grandparents had it way worse than me. And uh, of course I am Brazilian, I grew up with Brazilian friends and all this culture, but I feel uh, Poland grew up inside me very uh, big, it's a very big part of who I am, of what I learned from my grandparents and my mother and everybody. So when I got back here, I was uh, so happy to have the opportunity to come to Poland because I took my grandma back when she was already almost eight years old and it was the first time she came back uh, since she went to Brazil and then after that I decided to come here and live here because I really wanted to learn the language and um, it's so difficult it's so difficult for me I don't know if I will ever be fluent in Poland in Polish but at least I can communicate right now and uh, I'm trying, I'm trying, but I really wanted to come and be in contact with my family here, all my mother, cousins, because <laughs> there were a lot of relatives that were still alive instead of, of what Red Cross informed my grandma. It was really sad. And so I'm just trying to 
uh, recover some of this uh, this family that I never had the right to be in touch with it because we are separated by the war, separated by all these sad events that uh, took place in our life. And so when I came back, I felt like uh, this was my place because that was my, what my grandpa and my grandma were telling me. like. Poland is your land too. You need to learn to love Poland, to be a Polish. You need to remember where we came from. Please don't forget Poland. And that's one of the Polish values. To be strong, to never let Poland die, even when the, there is no uh, Poland, when the, uh, there was no Poland in the map. Polish people were still taking the country in their hearts and trying to come back and they succeed. And so they, uh, they made that uh, inside me. And when I came here and I was trying to fit in, like, hey guys, maybe this is my place, maybe this is my uh, origins, maybe I should be here. And Polish people were like, yeah, that's cool, but no, you're, you're just Brazilian. We, we like you, cool, but no, 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 no you are not. What are you? Oh, you are, you're just 50% Polish and miscellaneous, and this is really nice. We like it, it's exotic, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's kind of hurtful because I understand, I understand completely that you are protecting the country, the country, protecting the heritage, that's something very Polish. <laughs> I have a second YouTube when I speak, where I speak in Portuguese about Poland for Brazilians. And some Polish people speak Portuguese and they understand what I'm saying in the videos and sometimes they get really protective <laughs> when I say something silly about Poland. Uh, they can be really hurt by that. When I said, for example, that I don't like that Polish people park their cars on the sidewalks and I, I, can use, I can't not use the sidewalk because there is cars on it. A Polish lady got really offended and, and she wrote me a big letter about it that I should not talk like that about Poland because my country, Brazil, is very poor and we don't have, even have sidewalks. So what am I <laughs> saying about? So first of all, we have some sidewalks somewhere. <laughs> Sometimes they are bad sidewalks, but we do have. And Brazilian people even pointed that in some cities in Brazil, people also park on the sidewalk, but not in the city that I am from, so that's new for me. And also when I say that uh, Polish people eat so much paprika and uh, uh, pepper that when I order food without paprika and pepper they put it just to give a small taste just not let the food without flavor <laughs> and they put a lot of it and when I taste and I say sorry I order without paprika and without pepper the waiter and the chef instead of just apologize and changing they will argue with you about that like no i just put a little bit you cannot even feel it it's impossible that you are feeling that i didn't cook with pepper i just i just put some black pepper on the top just to make it look nice and you will say how can i take off the black pepper now to eat because i don't want it <laughs> And when I, when I told this in a video, some uh, Polish people got offended and said, I don't know in which country are you, because I'm Polish and I never had some <laughs> spicy food here. All the food is really nice and I never tried any, any, any uh, uh, paprika that was too strong or <laughs> pepper that was too strong. And I said, do you realize that you just pointed my point, you just proved my point? that you don't feel the spice <laughs> because when you eat spice for too long uh, you stop feeling it and i don't eat spice so i feel it really strong and when you say that i am wrong you are just proving that i'm right <laughs> about uh, spices in poland and so this, these are really uh, mild subjects. I'm not saying that Polish people are evil or not trustworthy or anything. It's just points that are not even making me mad. Okay, parking on the sidewalk makes me mad. But uh, it's, not, uh, it's not to be offensive. It's just like... Uh, 
constructive criticism, I don't know. And I can criticize Brazil a lot. But I know when I do criticize Brazil in my channel, uh, in Portuguese channel, a lot of Brazilians come to me and they are super protective. As, as much as any Polish people. So I don't think it's a bad thing to be protective of your country. I think it's nice. Uh, sometimes I even think it's funny of how protective uh, you can be about silly stuff. But Brazilians can be as much or even more protective. But I just wanted to explain where uh, does all this come from? Why am I here? Why do I feel weird when I am trying to uh, to just connect but people are interested in learning about all my races, my mixed races and so they don't feel that, that I'm Polish and of course I'm not Polish but uh, uh, Poland is inside me and sometimes it's hard to explain and of course I won't not I will not tell this whole story about my life for every new Polish people that I meet it's not does not make any sense so I just keep that inside me and I just try to say hello and be uh, be cool about it but uh, you know deep inside that's always there that's what I learn and that's how I feel and I just sharing it with you because I got so much uh, so many nice positive comments so that's it that's it if you want to uh, if you want me to to <laughs> tell you anything more about how it is to be war refugees granddaughter how it, it was life or if you have any curiosity about my life or my family's life please uh, ask anything in the comments I will be happy to answer you thank you very much for watching me and see you around